Hello there. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And right now I have some awesome images or creations right behind me. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to try this free AI image generator CG Dream AI tutorial. So the one thing I wanna say right now is Mid Journey costs $10 per month. Chat GPT costs $20, I think. But this one is technically free. And as you can see right there, it goes on par with Chat GPT and Mid Journey. So just to question or just to answer your questions, how free it is. So yes, it, there is a paid version. Speaking about the pricing on how perfectly free it is, is I'll meet you in the pricing section. So welcome back to the video. This is technically the pricing section. So it has two options. For the starter, we have the free and these are the features. So per month, you have 1200 or 1200 images. For the current jobs, two. Browsing and search is limited. Image variation for jobs is 2. Comparing with the $10 per month, you have everything. Which is double or not even double times 10 for the images per month. Now, if you're just testing the waters, I think 1,200 images is perfectly fine. That being said, I'll see you on the ZG Dream landing page. Alright, so once we're back here, let's just um, admire on how perfectly good it is. So I'm just going to click on this photo right here. Pretty awesome, right? The details, even the hair. I really want to highlight how good the quality regarding the hair is. It's just like an animated movie or an animated picture. That being said, this goes really on par with everything that I've tried for. By the being said, let's just go back and try our very own text image. So we're going to try it step by step. So please stay until the end of the video so we can have it all together. So speaking of text to image, this is gonna be their search bar or you may call it prompt bar. So with this one, I'm gonna type in this one is a Norwegian, like so, guy with wings flying in a city. Let me just correct my spelling, perfect. So we're gonna have an option here on the left side, we can upload a 3D model or an image to guide the image generation. Basically, this option right here will give you a reference image to guide your generation prompt. For the filters, you have unlimited or let's just say hundreds of features right here. So since I have asked it for wings, I'm going to go for angel. And then since this is going to be a guy, I'm going to go with this one in classical or city street since it's going to be inside the city. And with that being said, I think we can add some more here. How about this one, Barbarian, since it's going to be Norwegian. So I think this is good enough for me. And I can simply click on Generate right now. But before I click on that one, I have to choose a size here. I can choose 2x3, 3x2. I can have 16x9 here. I think I'm going to go with 1x1. One one. Number of variations, I'm going to stick with 1. From Guidance, basically this is going to be how strong the intensity is comparing with your prompt. I'm going to go with fast here versus quality to save your time. But if you want to go to quality, please do so. So for the seed, please leave this as default. For the negative prompt, type in here, ugly, um, pixelated, noisy, everything you don't want to see on your generation. I'm going to go with blurry right there. I think I have enough here. So I'm going to click on generate right now. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be our prom right there. Again, a Norwegian guy with wings flying in a city. Pretty awesome, right? So there is a download button right there. The favorite button is right here. You can upscale with this button. You can private it. And you can change any part of an image with in-painting. By the way, guys, in-painting is a fairly new feature in CG Dream. Regarding this one, you can use this as a filter. By the way, guys, there is an option here on the last part or the farthest right. We call it dream option. Basically what it does is help you enhance your prompts to give you better results. So I'm just going to download this one. I'm not going to change anything just yet. Even the filters. I can just make sure they're going to be by default on 0.5 or 0.50 for it to be balanced. But if I want it to be more barbarian, I can increase this one with no problem at all. But for now, since I want a comparison regarding the generic, and the dream up option. I'm gonna click dream up right there and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. 
right now this is going to be a new result using the dream up option but anyway guys this is our first one it's pretty awesome though the wings are there the feathers are good the lighting the veins in the arm are there there isn't any blurry picture right here but comparing it with the dream up option the shadows the lighting the feather looks awesome even the bystanders looks perfect now i suggest if you want it to be more awesome you want it to be more high quality take note i chose the fast option here without even considering quality but the comparison with the normal generate versus the using of the dream up option it's pretty awesome right now by the way before we proceed it has challenges here wherein if you have it one or you want some challenges for example your poster one with the number of likes and number of submitted there are the number of likes there you're gonna get credits basically you're gonna get prizes and gifts now going back on generation since we have it on the sex to image let's talk about image to image now now speaking of image to image i'm gonna make sure i retain my prompt so we can have a comparison all throughout the video so I'll click on the upload button right there i can choose two files 3d or image i'm gonna go with image so i'm just gonna look for a guy photo i have here give me a second i think i still have it perfect i still have this little guy right here i was gonna be uploading again a norwegian guy with wings flying in a city not gonna change a thing the filters are right there I can add another filter if I want to, but for now, I just want to see the comparison. So please feel to do so if you want to add some more filters. Now I'm going to click on generate right now. And to see the comparison, I'm going to go right now on my images. Like so. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now we have this guy right here. And comparing it with a reference image of this guy right here. It's pretty awesome, right? Now I know that we don't have a guy with the wings in the city because it really reference a reference photo. Now let's try changing it a little bit given for the sake of the discussion. I'm going to make this one a wizard guy or a wizard basically. And then I'm going to click on the filters. I'm going to choose in here wizard. Wait for it to load up. There we have it. So wizard right there. And then I'm going to remove city street. And I'm going to remove angel. Of course, I'm going to remove Barbarian. So welcome back to the video. Right now, we have a guy with a wizard hat. Pretty awesome, right? Now, you can adjust all filters as you want here, so please do so. So these are the 3D models available on this website. So we have a car, we have a helicopter, and so much more. For this video, I'm going to go with the car. So welcome back to the video. Right now, we have a car right here that we can move as we see fit. I'm just going to adjust my prompt here. I'm going to type in... A futuristic car with flames i'm gonna type in for the filters of course i'm gonna remove the previous filters for city street and wizard i'm gonna go with sports car sci-fi and then car racing with that being said i think i'm satisfied with those on um, filters i'm gonna click on generate with cg dream now i love this option right here so welcome back to the video right now this is gonna be our awesome generation image now please tell me that isn't awesome because we have the flames right there, a futuristic car, and you can upscale it with this option and so much more. That being said, you can download it with ease on that option right there, and you have your car with your PC with no problem at all. So that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.